that uh, rate hike is is closed really i think that rate hike is closed so uh, we will see if it if it will happen during next couple of months and uh, they have their their reasons for a rate hike i for for me being a, an economist and having a master degree in economy my opinion is that they are ready to hike if you ask me but i do not decide really uh, so euro dollar is what i said basically it's 1260 1300 stop loss this is the target breakout sell here positional buy here okay so we will see uh, also this is being recorded and i forgot to basically record uh, from the start so i will just do one more uh, uh, review of past week results so euro dollar this was the result for euro dollar this was the result for pound australian dollar dollar yen dollar cad and total pips pool were 75 and 145 okay uh, so euro dollar setup for this week is exactly like this okay so once more for all of you who joined up later i see people are still coming in and this has been one of most visited webinars so i'm very glad so you can see results uh, you could have made uh, from 75 to 145 pips from the analysis from the last week okay i will not repeat it again uh, i did it this time because I didn't record it so this will be uploaded and just for records this was result for from the last week okay so euro dollar we have a setup on euro dollar uh, pound dollar I would sell at if it goes to 52.50 with uh, 55.95 stop loss 51.00 is ultimate target for for uh, pound dollar okay uh, 51.00 so this is sell this is stop loss this is target for gbp okay gbp let's see gbp dollar gbp dollar you can see a huge drop uh, zooming into four hour chart you can see a nice grind to the downside it's actually a zigzag and around uh, 5250 we can possibly sell it okay 50 around this region here uh, looking at this region we have now moment sellers we have historical sellers here. You can see rejections here, rejections. So selling has been conducted really from 5250. So if we get a setup, I expect uh, 5250 to hold, sell towards 5100, which is the target for pound for uh, sorry pound dollar. And uh, I could I could read today that uh, BOE will not announce rate hike soon on their next conference. They will not be announcing any rate hike soon. So no announcement of rate hike is equal to dovish, dovish statement. So I think that pound should reach 51.00 before any sign of maybe better retracement. So this is my ultimate target. And it still has possibility to go to 50 50 okay pay attention to that still has the possibility to go to 50 50. australian dollar is in downtrend i'm looking to sell at 70 50 and i will be placing stop loss at 70.95 target is 69.00 okay australian dollar uh, 70.50 okay Okay, this is 70.50, and uh, look at this. If this trade happens to be formed, we would see some form of uh, look at this. Okay, this is ascending trend line here, and rejection here would go from for this is some sort of it's not actually the because we don't. Now we don't have actually a pattern form here. Okay, we don't see a full pattern form. But it may be some sort of pennant, bearish pennant. This is a flagpole, and if this rejects from second time from this point, it will be a pennant, okay, and it should go down to hit 6900. Okay. So we are watching for that particular setup if it happens. 7050 cells, 7095 
is stop loss and basically we will be looking to target 6900 6900 is indeed protected at this point okay so that is why i'm targeting this level because there was a strong buying here and uh, if we get a bearish pattern here basically rejection from this level then we can connect these two lines and we also can see some rejections from this level in the past okay we see historical selling here we see that price has made uh, basically a double top here which is close to our POC so there might be really rejection from this level and uh, that would put pound in uh, Australian dollar in selling mode towards a lower targets okay towards lower targets okay uh, Okay, now let's see dollar yen. I would be looking to sell at 121.40. Stop loss is 122.30. Target is 118.00. If we get positional buy at this level, I would place my stop at 117.70 with target of 120.30. Okay. Pound yen. see strong rejections here and uh, this rejection happened basically on Friday so if there was if there is a retest of this level maybe during Asia session somehow I would like to I would love to sell it okay but I think that next retest could go a little bit higher up to this point previous double top okay previous double top this is our sell spot okay Okay, 122.30 is, uh, is stop loss, 118 is the target. Okay. Okay, like this. Okay, and include the spread, of course. Yes, Euro Yen will be after, I show Euro Yen after this analysis. Okay. So this is basically what we are looking at. Okay. To sell it here at this almost triple top, look how this zone is good for selling. So because this setup basically happened on Friday, if there is a chance for a pullback, I would be selling here. Or if we get a first buy, I would be looking to buy. So 118.00, okay. Let's call it 118.10. It's better. So around this region, we will be looking to buy. And this is now a range. This is current range, okay? So these are the setups for this week. I will show Euro Yen now. So let's see if we get good pips from this. So Euro Yen. Nah, yes, one more, guys. I want to show you pound yen. Pound yen is important. I would be looking to sell around 184.20, 184.85 is top loss, 180.35 is target. Uh, reasons why I am doing this trade, I will show you because I was I published the analysis today. This is GBP yen full swing aiming for 177.40. This should be long-term target for point, uh, for pound yen, definitely. I think that pound yen uh, will go down, definitely. And you can see a full uh, swing potential. So the swing uh, started exactly at this point here, okay, exactly at this point here. This is the target for the swing. This is four-hour time frame. So we might see this happening for some time. So... For all of those who have entered short here, I think that they should keep their shorts till this target here. Meanwhile, we are looking for shorter term setups. And POC comes exactly at H3 daily pivot point 38.2, which is, as I was explaining here, you can read it here in my analysis, 184, 10 to 30. So somewhere around this region you can sell. Stop loss is 184.85, and we are looking to target 100, uh, 180.35. Okay, 180.35.
Okay. So basically, 135 comes exactly at L4, short breakout Camarilla level with previous low. So this was previous low. If it makes a new low, we can. If it makes a new low, that will be a breakout rate. So breakout below this level can happen also. But you need to treat it as BPC or retest below 180.80.00. Okay. So 180.80.00. Okay. I will show you also in real time chart. Yeah, uh, Derek is saying it's it's butcher pairs, very difficult. Yes, but you don't go with big risk, uh, Derek. When you're trading uh, uh, pound yen, uh, try to keep it within the range boundary, within the risk boundary of 0 0.5 to 1% uh, per per trade. So if you trade pound yen, don't cross 1% of risk threshold. So yeah, but. You see, it, it can happen that we see uh, really basically that we can see uh, a, a pullback towards this zone and and uh, possible sell. But pay attention to this one. Pay attention. Uh, Derek is saying I don't like her. Well, I know, but just try to di diversify your portfolio because sometimes you will lose euro dollar trade and you would win on pound yen. When you trade price action, it doesn't matter really which pairs you trade. So basically, if you see a breakout of 180.00, pay attention to four hours, zoom in to one hour, and try to find possibly down lower. I will put it this here. Okay, let me let me give you a breakout setup. So possible breakout sell 80 breakout retest or breakout pullback continuation pattern towards 177 point 40 Okay, but BR or BPC, so it's breakout retest or breakout pullback continuation. Okay, so if this happens, that would be a breakout trade. Now questions. Uh, uh, Alec is asking for GBP or GBPK, GBP CC, New Zealand. I will take a look. Uh, I don't have the time for four of those pairs, but I can take a look for one of two of those pairs euro yen indeed euro new zealand okay uh, pound dollar uh corina is asking for pound do dollar euro turkish lira okay let's see if i have it here yes i think i have it here yeah euro turkish lira indeed Okay, I will start with. Uh, uh -huh. I will start with the uh, Euro Turkish lira. And yes, dollar yen, guys. I will roll through these slides again. So please pay attention to this because now we need to cover questions. So this is Euro dollar setup. This is pound dollar, Corina. This is pound dollar. If you joined up later, this is pound dollar. You can see it here, pound dollar. This is Australian dollar. Okay. This is dollar yen. Okay. Mm. George, can you please give the sell orders for dollar yen? Yes, sell around 121.40, stop loss 122.30, 118.00. On pound dollar, Corina is asking for stop loss. 155, 152.50 is around around this number, 10 pip buffer. Sell 
stop loss 152.95 target is 151.00 okay and pound yen yes yeah, sorry sorry uh, adrian is saying a typo indeed a typo this was a typo okay okay now questions euro turkish lira well uh Yes, it's 10 pip spread, but Dogan was asking for uh, Turkish Lira. This is uptrend, Dogan, in Euro Turkish Lira. And uh, basically, what you would love to see is uh, X cross entry, and it's already happening, okay? Because you see, this was strong level, and this was definitely a confluence here. So... You see, definitely, this is your potential level to go long again, around L3 if it goes here. And this is uptrend on Euro-Turkish Lira. <laughs> okay, so Euro-Turkish Lira is uptrend here, okay, uptrend. And it's targeting possibly this level, 3.47. Uh, and this is uptrend. And this can be W pattern which will put it towards this region, H5, okay? So uptrend definitely here. Uh, another question is, uh, okay, let's try dollar CAD, but before, do that, before we do that, let's cover pound Australian dollar. Okay, pound Australian dollar here. I let's see where I put it. Where did okay pound Swissy first? Pound Swissy. Uh, this is what I don't like to see. I don't like to see nasty price action here. And pound Swissy Alec is unfortunately not good to trade at this point. You can see a big range here, and it's actually going up, up, and strongly down. So Swiss can be a little bit manipulated, especially, it's not dollar Swiss, it's about miners, pound Swiss, so I don't like really how it looks at this point. So pound Swiss is not good. Pound Australian dollar is, uh, well, this is also range in price section because if you zoom it out, you can see a range. So these currencies are ranging now. Uh, you can try to play the range, sell at this spot, buy at this spot. Uh, at this time, we don't see any trend pattern here, so it's just a range. It's called uh, zigzag. It's it's uh, it's sideways zigzag. Okay, zigzag sideways. So it's a range. It's not good to trade. And you ask also for uh, pound New Zealand, I think. Uh, let's see if I have it somewhere. Here, pound Swissy, okay, New Zealand dollar, pound New Zealand, pound Norwegian crown, okay, I didn't put it on chart, okay, all these pairs are stuck here, but I don't see pound New Zealand, ah, new, uh, Alec, G CAD, okay, GBP CAD, I can show you GBP CAD, downtrend on GBP CAD and uh, almost the same as GBP dollar it follows the same patterns here but with slightly better retracement pay attention for rejections here where it has been rejecting from so it's very close to rejection so uh, the thing how I would play this out is probably I would wait to sell here or if the four hour close if we get a four hour close above h3 and this region here you can try to go long okay at this spot because at this time it's been rejecting 2.03 and 0.33 indeed so this level here is your actual resistance okay 
If it rejects from this region, it should hit L3. If it closes with four hour close above this region, it can target this level 2.036 and subsequently H4. But pay attention for either rejection or long if it closes four hour above this uh, level. Sil uh, Silvestras is uh, asking for a question. I would like to ask you for advice. I'm waiting short dollar rubble from 0 0.67, 0 0.30 or go for 60C00. Uh, I don't know if I can check it. Let's answer the questions, Silvestre. So if we have some time, I will answer, definitely. Gaurav is asking for market plan. Yes, at the end of the webinar, I will go through slides again. I need to answer questions now. Euro yen. Euro yen is next. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm doing this very fast, so please bear with me and try to memorize what I'm saying. Euro yen, uh, definitely a possible sell spot here. I always, when I see M pattern, I, I mar I'm marking 0.2 of M. So this is 1, 2, 3 M. Uh, 0.2 of M is breakout. Look at this, guys. This is school now, and I will use this example uh, uh, at price section trading school. Uh, this is M pattern, okay? One, two, three. When 0.2 is broken, we will have usually trigger happy trade, breakout, pullback, continuation, breakout, three tests. We have three types of breakout trades here. First is breakout, trigger happy. Second is breakout, retest. You see retest here, and from this spot, breakout, pullback, continuation. So this spot is good pro possibly to at least scalp some of those pips. If you want for a bigger pullback, then this level needs to be broken. So this level is good to scalp. Try to go with scalp swings, okay? Yes, always Ella is saying, try to do uh, screenshots. Indeed, guys, try to do screenshots. Look at this. If this level is broken, I would go short at this spot here, okay? So pound, dollar is possible scalp swing here, sell and sell Position sell here. Okay, pay attention to these two levels here. Okay. Okay, you can see it here. Pay attention to these levels. Okay, guys. Clear. Loud and clear. Clear. Ilya, I'm saying I'm talking about Euro Yen at this time. Okay? It's Euro Yen. Yes, indeed. Maybe I'm I'm really talking now too much and very fast because I see a lot of questions. And uh, I'm really, if I make a mistake during my speak, you know what I'm talking about. Euro yen, indeed. A pound, maybe. I told it pound. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. So 135.00 possible scalp swing. If you go with uh, scalp swing, take the profit. It, if it retraces to H3, then this is also short. Okay? Pay attention to this. This is interesting for me too. I will, I will screen, I will snapshot it. Okay. New Zealand or Euro New Zealand. Okay. <coughs> Euro New Zealand and New Zealand dollar. Euro New Zealand. <laughs> okay. Do you, guys, when you see this, at least in my opinion, you know what I what I what I do when I when I see this. Do you know what I do? I just click to to and switch the screen to other chart. This is obviously a big range. So then pay attention to H5 confluence with the top of the range and pay attention to L4 confluence with the bottom of the range. You can try to sell from here. You can try to buy from there. In between, you don't have any setup. Clear and loud. Okay, loud and clear then. Okay, H5 possible confluence point here at the top of the channel this is sideways movement and l4 is basically buy i don't trade ranges but from trading perspective you can try to short it from here buy it from here okay you can try to do that indeed but as i say it's not very 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 good setup at this point but well you can try to go with it okay it's a range the uh, new zealand dollar well, this is a slow grind to the downside. 
and definitely I would like to see a bigger retracement. I would like to sell, but not at this spot. I would like to sell it here around this spot, okay? It's too possibly too much to the upside, but if you want to go with with lower retracement, then this is the way to go. Okay? You can try to sell it at this spot here. Okay, I, I'm looking for shorts on New Zealand dollar, so this is why I'm repeating shorts. So this could be a short around this spot. Okay, this can be a short trade here. See, possible short here, and 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 definitely, 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 if it comes to this region, uh, if it comes to this region, this could be a good short. But I don't think it will come to that that high. I think it might reject from H3. Okay, it might reject from H3. So pay attention to 64, 25, 64, 25 to 64, 30 is possible sell. Okay. Uh, MJ is saying pound dollar. I will uh, I will re-roll slides, and you will see pound dollar. Uh, Goran is saying uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am really uh, astounded how you try about every webinar, about every question, about about every chart. It's really a pleasure to hear and discuss with your strategy and economic questions. Thank you very, very much, Goran. I'm really enjoying to answer your questions, to help you with trading, because I'm also a trader and I know how it's to lose and win, and that is why I'm really trying to help you. And okay, as I say, thank you very, very much, guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> good, good, okay. Sounds of support, Corina, uh, then uh, Ilya. Okay, thank you, guys. Uh, Dollar cat, okay, George. Also, I really appreciate your effort. Well, indeed. Oof. Okay, uh, <laughs> we all okay. We have five more minutes. If I had more time, really, I would do this. <laughs> Maybe I would be a little bit slower with explaining, but it's always that we are short of time. Dollar cat is buying into dips, guys. You don't have to be very smart to know that this is buying into dips. The only thing that I would like to sell is somewhere around 33.90. This could be our, at least this could be, well, it's, it's like 34. So this could be our sell spot around 34. But if you want to go with buy trades, guys, just snapshot the screen now and pay attention to confluence points. This is your first good confluence. This is also your confluence here, here. Now, this is fast analysis, okay? This is not uh, the analysis I do for recaps, but this is fast analysis. And this can be also good. Okay, so guys, okay, definitely this region here. Okay, this is probably master candle, so pay attention to this. And uh, if you zoom to one hour time frame, okay, it's four hour master candle, definitely. So if it goes down, you can go with master candle breakout setup as I was teaching you to do. And then this is your possibly buy spot and this one too. I don't think it will go straight down, but pay attention to these levels. This one, this one, and this one. And pay attention to this candle here. Okay? This is keeping it in the range now. Uh, Euro dollar. And then I will reroll the slides, guys, and we need to, uh, Euro, this, sorry, and we need to call it a day. Okay, Euro Australian dollar. Silestras, sell limit 61.10 is good to trade both. 61.10 sell limit. Yes, Silestras. 61.10 to 15 is a good level to try for a short trade. Indeed. Because this is historical strong selling, very, very strong selling here. Historically, the price is holding it here. And indeed, this can be another sell opportunity here. So yes, another sell could kick in here between these two levels. Okay. 61.50 and 61.85. 
But yes, 6110 is okay. Try to go with it. At least you could make some scalp swing or intraday trade, but try to do it with low risk. And this is another possible sell spot here. Okay. Uh, New Zealand dollar, yes, okay, one more. New Zealand dollar, did I? Yeah, I told you about New Zealand dollar. Okay, definitely sell spot here. Okay, and if it, but I don't think it will go to this stage. So this is your sell spot. So guys, uh, let me re-roll re the slides again, and then we need to wait for these setups. Okay, so Euro dollar setup. Pound dollar, okay, I, I'm trying to give you the time to snapshot it, okay, Australian dollar, okay, dollar yen, And pound yen, guys. Okay, let's see what we will have this week. I will be here with you to help you. Please sign up for Price Action Trading School and all those good webinars to come. I'm here with you, will be with you, and let's see that we can make some nice pips this week. Thank you, everyone. Derek, Jeff, uh, George, Silvestras, Mike, Ella, everyone, and I wish you a great week and uh, talk to you very, very soon. I hope that we will have some good trades. Thank you. I wish you to trade safe. Thank you, then. Best lots of pips to you. Many green pips. Goran to you, Gaurav, every, every single one of you. Thank you and cheers. Trade safe.